All I know is that this hooker better have my money. So sorry. That signs for the black drug dealing pimp. Um, probably not right for you. Unless, of course, you think you can play the black drug dealing pimp. No, you're probably right. You're too old. Whenever you're ready. Sorry, no speaky English. Still five dollar. That was great. What call you? I promise. No, I'm not famous yet. My goal isn't fame, Mom. I want to be a working actress. Yes, I want to get married. You know, we don't always have to have the same conversation. You can ask me how my day was, how I'm doing. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm in the garage. I'm, I'm losing cell coverage. Okay, I love you. I love you. Bye. are named Joan and Peter. Yeah, that's a coincidence. I'll start. The scene takes place in a young woman's apartment, nothing too stylish and somewhat low rent, without much flair. My Pete apartment is not low rent. It has a lot of flair. It's dramatic license. It's theater. Pete touches Joan's hand lovingly. And he says, I hope you know that I love you very much and that I will always love you. And I know we've had our problems lately. Oh, but oh, that's oh. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What is going on here? What problems? Joe, you're off book. We can't see each other anymore. There's someone else. It's you, Lionel. That's okay. I completely understand. We can still be friends? What do you think? He needs a rewrite and a stronger female lead. I mean, they've probably been dating two years, seven months, and eleven days. She might have believed he was going to marry her. You know, how would she react to hearing him break up with her and in a completely lame way, you know, and through a fake play? You know, let's make this a genre piece. I'm out of here. A revenge horror film. I picked the wrong week to quit snipping glue. 